Down to the band OAR, on the scene for decades, famous for their catchy tunes and sold out shows, achieving longevity not by reinvention, but by doing what they do best. And creating that meaningful connection with their fans, our Phil Lipoff sits down with the group to talk the building of the band, navigating life on tour, and growing their families at home. What happens when two friends come together to make music? One heavily influenced by reggae and Bob Marley. Stand up for your rights. The other by hard rock and Metallica. You get a sound, a band, and a friendship that stands the test of time. On this night in Salt Lake City, doing what they've done for more than 20 years. Having a conversation with the crowd. I don't know about you guys, but I feel pretty good. The band calls it an exchange of energy. Joining the original five members on stage for years now, Mike Paris on the keys and John Lampley on the trumpet. But you really don't know what you're going to get until you get on stage that night. When your lead singer and drummer have been playing together since eighth grade, there is a special connection. Here are frontman Mark Roberge and drummer Chris Kulos at their middle school talent show. They recruited Richard Ahn and Benj Gershman in 1996, later meeting saxophonist Jerry DePizzo at Ohio State as they became a staple on the college rock scene in the late 90s. And in 2006, OAR played the show of all shows to a sold out crowd at Madison Square Garden. So rise on up to that highest mountain top. After the show, we decided every night is MSG. This is an attitude we've taken from that moment that no matter where we play, we're bringing the same show, the same energy, the same honest gratitude. Why don't you FaceTime a kid? Some of Mark's most profound lyrics come from personal experiences like this one, captured in the music video for I Go Through. You go over and under, I go through. Heading out on tour when his phone rings. That moment, now a verse in the song. My kitty asked me, Daddy, when you coming home to me from work? If I'm being honest, man, that hurt. My oldest is 10. I haven't seen him cry like that in a long time. So, yeah, it's, it's hard. It's, it's a struggle to figure out how to, you know, help him be okay with it because he doesn't understand dad's gone. It's a tough balance, but one they all agree is worth it. Their success allowing them to create the Herd the World Fund. A portion of concert tickets go into this fund. We work with Ohio State University to provide scholarship opportunities. Their new album, The Arcade, is out now, and their touring continues. More than two decades after that first album, with new fans at shows and some longtime faithful as well, this is what it all comes down to for OAR. And we thank Phil Lipoff for Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.